from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your no equipment workout. So you don't need anything for this workout. We're gonna do the whole workout with just your body weight. Towards the end, we'll grab a mat or a towel, or if you just have a soft piece of carpet, that works too, but other than that, that's all you need. I'll give you lots of options so you can work to your own level, but above all, have a good time and just keep moving. So we're just gonna start here, just start marching it out. We'll just get our muscles warm, big deep breath in and out. One more. Good, little quick warm up through the spine, flat back down, round it up. We're not gonna do very much of a warm up, we'll get more of a stretch at the end, two more. But as always, if you want more of a warm up or cool down, get it on your own. Good, bring it all the way up. Okay, big rolls through the shoulder and then to the front. And I think we're good to go. So starting out with a little bit of cardio, we're just gonna step out side to side. So just step one and then the other. So you can just keep it here, reach across. Or if you want, touch it down. Just getting our muscles warm, getting the heart pumping. We're gonna keep our cardio intervals short, but add them in just to really drive up that heart rate. Even though your heart rate should get up with everything that we're doing. Four, three, two, good. So same idea, step into the side, but we're gonna take it to a squat and step it in. Squat it down, step it in. Out to the side, in. So it looks like this. You really wanna get the butt down, sit low. So my knees are directly above my ankles. I'm not going forward, what I don't wanna see is here or here. Really drop it low. Press up through the heels. Couple more. Four, three, two. So keep that, and if you want, touch it down in between. Touch, that's gonna really let us get low. And then if you want a little extra, we'll jump out and in. Low to high. Drop it down adding a little bit of plyo to it. You don't have to do the jump if you don't want to. You can just step it, step and touch. Really low. One jump. Jump down and up. Good guys. One more. Four. Three. Two. Perfect, excellent. So tab it out and keep that heart rate up. We'll add a little bit of arms as if we had dumbbells. Shoulder press and knee. So I'm gonna take flat hands, really push them to the ceiling. So just by using your own body weight, you should feel those arms. If you have dumbbells, you wanna add them, that's great. Otherwise, this is your no equipment workout. Knees coming up. So keep it here, low impact. If you want to add a little jump, that works too. Just keep pressing those hands to the ceiling. Push that ceiling away from your body. Good. Four, three, two, good, and relax. So step it back into a lunge. So start with just a re regular step back. I'm gonna show you from the side, just tapping back. And then as you're ready, if you want, we're gonna drop it in the lunge. I'm gonna keep my hands moving. So again, keeping the arms and shoulders working. So two options, just regular step or full lunge. Drop the back knee 90 degrees, both legs, push off the front heel. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna hold it here. So my right foot forward, left foot back, hands behind. I'm gonna lunge on the one side and curl. So again, as if I was pushing the air towards the ceiling. Sounds kind of silly, I know. But as if you had dumbbells, We'll keep the biceps working as we go deep into that lunge. 
again, really get low, push off the front heel. And squeeze in the biceps, bring the hands towards the shoulders. We'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it down. I'm just gonna twist and pulse. Turning over my right knee, just getting a little extra abs while we keep those legs working. Four, three, two. Perfect, step it forward, step it back, other leg. Same thing, biceps and the lunge. Bring those hands all the way to the shoulders. Drop the back knee, abs in tight. Making sure as we get tired that we don't lean forward or back. Breathe. Very controlled. Eight more right here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. We'll hold it down. Little turn. Twist and pulse. Twist, then push up out of it. Over the left knee in the front. Working the obliques. Four, three, two. Good, tap it out, shake it out. So speaking of obliques, we'll get some cardio with some abs. Right knee out. I'm gonna bring it opposite elbow towards the knee. So I'm going here, hands high to keep the arms working. Push. So keep it here, really get that twist, or if you want, power it up. You can start slow, or up to speed. Good guys. Any of those options will do. Eight, seven, six, five, twist, four, three, two, good. Other side, left side, twist, and back. Hands high, keep the arms working. Twist, really strive to get that opposite elbow on the side of the knee. Twist, abs and cardio, heart rate should be up. So keep it here, or if you want, power it up. Either slow, or up to speed. With or without a jump, you can be here, or jump it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out, good guys. Lots of heart rate, just getting lots of cardio, lots of abs, arms as well. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. I'll give you a couple of options. Working the arms and the legs and the cardio and core. So we're gonna drop it down. Walk my feet back into a push-up. Walk my feet in, bring it up, up on the toes. So that's one option. All the way down, flat back, walk it back, push it up, walk it in, get nice good form, up on the toes. Other option, full burpee, down, out, push it up, jump it in, jump it up, up to you. Any of those options will do. Walk it out, good form on that push up, even if you're doing the full burpee and jumping it, make sure Elbows are wide, bring it up, down. I have a hard time doing this full burpee with my mic pack conveniently, but I'm gonna try. Breathe in. Couple more guys, down. Push it up. I can still jump at the top. One more. And bring it up, good guys. Take it all the way down. Let's hold it here. Knee twist across, across. Holding. You can do this. Four, three, two. Bring him straight in. Start here. Knees as close into your chest as you can so we really get the abs. And then run it. Mountain climber. If you want the low impact version, that's okay too. Keep them coming in. 
or jog it as far as in as you can go, guys. We'll really get the abs. Four, three, two, walk it in. Good, guys. Three. All right, grab a quick sip of water, grab your mat, and we're gonna bring it down. Whew. Starting in a seated position. Here we go, guys. So a little bit of abs from here. Should be feeling them a little bit from that mountain climber. Take it back, one knee at a time. Start here, it's a V-sit crunch. This is your easiest option. Or take it all the way up. Hands can either balance or no balance. One extra level, guys, if you want, all the way down, all the way up. Just keep it controlled all the way through a core. So again, you can go all the way down, all the way up, halfway without balance, halfway with balance, or just keep it simple, one knee at a time. Four, three, two, perfect. Stretch it out, knees to the side, stretch that back. So let's work the triceps, also the glutes and hamstrings. So it's a tricep dip and a bridge together. So my hands are behind me as close in as I can get them so they're not out wide. Fingertips pointing forward, elbows to the back, feet about shoulder width apart. I'm coming up in this reverse plank, so in this bridge. I'm gonna bend in the elbows and squeeze it up. So bend in the arms, push to those arms, and then squeeze up in the glutes and hamstrings. So it's sort of combining the tricep dip and the bridge. Looks a little funny, works a lot of muscles. Bend in those elbows, push up in the heels. Bend in the elbows, up and squeeze. Again, make sure those elbows are pointing to the back, fingertips forward. Bend and lift. Back of the arms we're targeting. We'll go four more, really squeeze, bring those hips to the top. Three, lift, two, one more. Good, and relax, you should have felt them both. Back of the arms, back of the legs. So while we're still feeling them, bring it up to that same position. We're just gonna do a little kick, kick. So what I don't want is hips down here, really lift them up. As you can tell, we're still working the triceps. Now let's go down, kick up, bend the elbows, just like we did before. So we're adding one leg of bridge, push into the heel, bend in the elbows. Woo, arms, yeah. Good, guys. Four, three, two, and relax. Drop it down, stretch that out. Should feel lots of arms, lots of legs. Nice, guys. So one more from here. Twist it down to the side. Bring it up. Rush and twist. Start small. You want to bring those knees up. A little more advanced. Or knees dropping to the opposite side. We're going to keep it slow so we don't get the back into it. Just the obliques. There we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Down. Stretch forward. Good work, guys. All right, over on your side, we're going to come into a side plank. So elbow beneath the shoulder, cross the top leg over. We're going to lift it up and hold. So you can either just hold it here. Or if we're going to add a little outer thigh and glute and hip, and a lift and lower. Flex that foot. If this feels like too much, just hold it here. If you want, keep this hand down. I'm going to just to give you a little extra balance. Good, guys. Four. Keep that hip lifted. Three, two, one. Relax. Excellent. Swing it around. Other side. Keep you short. Elbow beneath the shoulder. Cross the top leg over. Lift it up and hold. If you want, flex and down. Probably find one side. 
a little easier than the other. That's core strength, that's also hip flexibility. Hand can be here or up, just keep those hips lifted. Good, four, three, two, perfect, relax, drop it down. Excellent work guys, so turn into your mat. So, we did the tricep dips with the bridge, we did the push-ups and the burpee, we're gonna put them together. So I'm taking my hands in a diamond. Diamond push-up, you can start on your knees and if that feels okay, take it to your toes. My hands are in the diamond on the mat, I'm bending it down. So you're getting the push-up all through the chest and abs, you get a little extra push on those tries. Down and up. You feel look good with that, if you wanna take it all the way up, one totally up to you if you want to stay on the knees or the toes couple more making sure either way that those hips aren't up in the air here here nice good position three two one relax stretch it back good work guys stretch it back let's come into that front plank so we're bringing it up We're gonna add a little glute so my right leg lift and lower. If that feels like too much, just hold your plank. Abs pulled in, hips in alignment. We'll go four, three, two. Perfect. Drop it down into our regular plank. You can do this, hold this here. Whew. Just holding in the abs. Everything's tired. I know we're just giving our arms and legs a little bit of a rest, but keeping the abs working. Take it back up. Left leg up and down. Squeeze in the glute. There we go. Pull it in. Keep breathing. Four, three, two. Good. Drop it down. I know it's a sneaky way to get those arms in. Hold it here. Whoo. Good guys, up on the hands, down on the elbows. Up on the hands, last push for arms. Up, down, up, four more. Leave right, left, right, left, left, right. Good, up, you need to drop to knees on this, you can. Last one, left, right, relax, I know. We're tired. Flip over on your back, guys. So close. Whew. All the way down. Feet up. Regular crunch. Whew. Should feel easy compared to all those arms and legs. Lift the shoulders. Breathe. Whew. Whew. Pull the belly button in. Go eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold it at the top, little pulses, breathe, four, three, two, relax your head, hands by your side or underneath your hips, reverse crunch, knees come in, we're going to keep it simple with these abs, regular crunch, reverse crunch, then we'll put them together, then we'll be done. So pull the knees in, lift the hips off the ground, very controlled, trying not to swing. Excellent, guys. Breathe. One more. Let's put them together. Here we go, upper and lower. You're almost there, guys. Really work hard. Breathe. As we get tired, make sure you're really pulling in. Not just going through the motions, really work the muscles. Here we go, four, eight, seven, six, you can do this, five, whoo, four, three, two, relax, hug the knees in, great work guys, roll side to side, whoo, and breathe. Let's extend one leg up, quick little hamstring stretch, flex the foot, grab either the back of the leg, or the calf, and just pull it in gently. Breathe, should be 
you shaken a little bit, it's tired. And let's cross it over, a little hip stretch. Bring that leg up, reach underneath the bottom leg, press the top knee down. And extend the other leg up. Flex that foot, you should already be holding it. If you wanna go up to the calf, you can. it over that bottom knee, lift that leg up, grab underneath. And just reach those hands over your head, really reach long, as far up as you can go, really stretch. And then just very carefully bring it up to a seated position. Feet out. Reach it over. Let your head and your neck relax into that. Really reach the fingertips forward. And open it up. Grab behind. And as always, if you need more of a stretch, and I highly encourage it, Get some more on your own. And if that wasn't enough for you, start the video over. Go through everything one more time for a more complete workout. There you go, guys. Who needs a gym? Who needs equipment? Not us. That's your no equipment body weight workout. Great job, everybody.